Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the HS720G 4K drone from Holy Stone. This is their top of the line drone. So we're going to go ahead and dive in and see everything that it comes with first. So as usual with Holy Stone, as you guys can see here, as I'm kind of cutting this plastic off, it does come with a case. This one does kind of have like a faux leather feel to it and a little handle on it, which is pretty nice. And then one of the first things you're going to notice right here is you're going to get a box inside of a box. And then inside of that box, you are going to get the battery. Now, they don't send two batteries with this, which is a little bit different from what they normally do. But this is their highest end model. And then you're going to get the charging cable for that battery right here, as well as a little screwdriver for maintenance. Continuing on, you are going to have your extra propellers just in case you crash this thing and mess them up. And then going forward right here, you're going to get a little bit of documentation such as some warning labels and then the user manual to get you up and going. And then continuing on right here inside of the case, you're going to notice that you're going to get your handheld controller. Now, this controller is very similar to the ones that they have used in the past. But we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the features that this has here in a little bit later on in the video. And then finally, the last thing we're going to have inside of this case is going to be the drone itself. Now, this is a compact folding drone, just like some of their other drones. Uh, this one does feel a little bit sturdy and it does have a little bit of design changes. Some quick specs about this. It does have a two axis gimbal. So that's going to give you nice smooth video when you're recording and also has electronic image stabilization. And as you guys can see here on the right, this is how they fold in. You just basically fold them in and you're even going to have your SD card right here so you can record directly to an SD card. On the back is going to be your battery slot with a battery light indicator. And then taking a look at the right side, just more of the arms. And that's basically it for the overview of the drone itself. Taking a little bit of a closer look at the remote here. As you guys can see here, this does take on some of their form factor that they've used in the past with their other handheld controllers. The antennas are foldable as well as the grips. And it does have a pop-out phone holder so you can get that live view. Getting this set up was really easy. You just want to download the Ophelia Fly app and then walk through the instructions that are on screen. It'll get you ready and paired up. It's super easy to do. But once you have that all paired up, as you guys can see here, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and find a nice semi-level place to set this down so we can get this flying. And right before we take off, we're going to go ahead and just go over some of the features that are on screen and on the controller. So on the controller side of things, you can see that we have a battery level indicator for the drone itself. For the controller, we have a battery indicator. How many GPS satellites we're connected to? We're going to have the launch button, the lock button, return to home, which will automatically return it to where it took off from in case of an emergency. And then you're going to have basically a speed selector right up there on the top right. If you hold it down, you can see that we are in sport mode, which is high speed. Then we switch to low speed. We're going to go ahead and go back to high speed because we do not want to fly slow. And as you can see, it just indicated right up there. On the right side, you are able to switch between photo and video mode. So we'll go ahead and look at some of the settings for the video. So there's auto white balance, there's gray scale, there's a whole bunch of different settings for video color. You're going to have two different video types, which is going to be 30 frames per second at 4K and 1080p at 60 frames per second. Enough of all of me talking though, let's go ahead and get this thing in the air and see what this thing is capable of. I'm super excited being that this is their highest end model. So as you guys can see here, we are now looking at the camera live view. We are now recording at 4K 30 frames per second. Again, this is at 4K 30 frames per second. As you can see on that launch, that image stabilization electronically and the gimbal do a really good part in making sure that you get smooth video. This is honestly immediately a big step up from the drone that I have tested from them in the past. While that one wasn't bad, this one is definitely a lot better. We're going to go ahead and switch over now. We are recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And one of the things I noticed about this camera and the sensor that they have built in with the HS720G is the sensor is just a lot better. The colors are more vibrant. Seems to be working better than the previous version of the drone that I had tested, so it definitely works really well. All right, guys, this was just a quick overview of the HS720G drone from Holy Stone. They really step up their game at the top of the line for this drone. So if we're a new drone that is very easy to learn and fun to fly around with, I highly recommend this one, and I'll see you on the next video.